so in april 2018 i was being diagnosed uh, with ckd stage 5 so you know at that point of time it was a you know shocking news because at early stage of let's say uh, any individual uh, you know talking about 30 years down the line having ckd 5 where, where your kidneys are not functioning and not helping you out was a big shock to me and to my family in terms of my wife especially so she guided us for the kidney transplant not transplant first but she suddenly said that your uh, creatinine which is a major factor for the kidney function uh, is really high so please uh, you need to be immediately for the go for the dialysis he had a lot of nausea vomiting poor appetite his body was swollen from head to toe blood pressure was very high and he could not retain food because he was vomiting all the time and his blood creatinine level was about 8 times that of the normal reference range in other words his kidney filtering efficiency had fallen right down to just 10% i i was not able to walk properly because there was no energy in my body due to the high creatinine i was not able to sleep properly so immediately we started up with the dialysis process down the line when it was happening you know 6 to 8 months which we had a process of the dialysis it was a schedule where we didn't had any life basically i didn't had any life i just wanted uh, you know to do work i was previously into that profession of you know uh, working i was a person who used to work day and night for the you know wherever i used to work for but i was then not able to do it uh, you know during that point of time because it was a schedule where i just needed to be thrice in the dialysis and then you know take it up to the next level felt that his energy levels were still not at par with that of a normal friend or colleague of his and we offered him a kidney transplant surgery in an attempt to try and get him an improved quality of life and extend years to his life expectancy because a kidney transplantation offers 100% waste removal unlike hemodialysis which offers about 45% waste removal even with 12 hours a week of hemodialysis so at that point of time my wife stood up and stepped up and told that i would you know understanding all the process by her she said yes i would like to do it if i am the right you know donor for him so we went some major test and then she said ki okay let's start some proje- procedure and let's see will go with the flow or no so we were very fortunate that uh, my kidneys got matched and then in december 2018 uh, we went for a surgery uh, like his was a robotic one and mine was laparoscopic one daksha's kidney finally made its way into varun's abdomen on the 27th of december 2018 through a laparoscopic or keyhole surgery which left daksha with a very small scar which healed very very rapidly and she was back to work in about 2 weeks time daksha remained well and varun who is now many years into the transplant is doing absolutely fine nothing has changed really i am very uh, i am very exactly like earlier i was living the life main thing that the best thing happened to me is my baby like we are living happily same as we were living earlier and uh, we'll, we are loving ourselves more now we are loving our, we are loving our body more now so it's good to be a donor she does her normal natural you know work every individual does from the day starting to the end of the day what you all people do, do. you know she makes breakfast she makes lunch she makes dinner she goes out with me we travel uh, you know we spend time with our family and everybody we should all view organ donation as a means of saving lives and benefiting the society at large remember you don't have to be a doctor to save lives just donate your organs subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates